Hey guys, how's it going? This is Matt with Kelva Valley. I have decided to cut out the audio from this video. I realize that I say um far too often, so I will need to work on that while I am videotaping. This job is a bit of a walkthrough I wanted to do, kind of show you what's going on. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm looking at this retaining wall. This retaining wall is absolutely failing. We did talk with a customer about it. I did strongly encouraged to replace this, but she did not want to. She wanted to leave this for the next homeowner. She doesn't think it's gonna fail. Tried a couple of times. I don't wanna argue with somebody too much. Right here, you can see how it bows out. Uh, there is a deck above it. There are all kinds of bad signs here, but regardless, like I said, she didn't wanna do it. It didn't really affect our work, so we didn't do it. This bow in the wall did make it kind of difficult for the bluestone relay. The dimensions have changed, so when you're trying not to cut things, as talked about in the beginning of the project, it's inevitable. You're going to have to cut. So we had to cut. Right now I'm looking at the joints, which, looking at it back here, kind of aggravated me even more. But once it was jointed, it did come together quite well. The walkway over here that we're looking at is these old pavers. All this was done 40 years ago. So when we got there, which I'll put the before pictures after the video, when we got to the job, everything was kind of broken, separated, falling apart. Couldn't really do anything with it except rip it all out and reconstruct it. So with these steps, one major thing was that they were not interlocked in the corners. So that was a big thing that we wanted to make sure we did. Everything was interlocked. There was cap adhesive applied. We really were just aiming for the structural integrity on this job. And I think it came out nice anyways. That line that you can see right now is kind of what I was getting at. It is it is what it is, but it flows nicely. It does, you'll see in the after shots that it does look well, well done. And it looks like a good patio. It does come together quite well. And I like the way it looks. Customer likes the way it looks. And that's really all you can ever ask for. Alright, so here are some of the pictures I wanted to show you, the before, the after. Uh, I'm just going to kind of let this go through as a slideshow so you can see everything. I am working on all of this editing. I actually got a new iMac today. My wife is one of the best wives on the planet, if I do say so myself. Uh, this is a birthday gift. I'm not all that technology savvy, but uh, I will figure this all out. I'm not too, too worried about it. I do apologize if there is some echoing going on in the background. I am in our spare bedroom, which is going to be my office for a little bit. Uh, we will be moving here soon, so that will change a few things, but there will be more on that as the time comes. But like I said, wanted to get this video out there, wanted to document it. Customer's happy, I'm happy. Checks in hand, on to the next one. Alright guys, have a good night.